A shocking, disturbing incident has happened in Dehradun, an accident which involved at least six youngsters. And that has led to the death of each one of them. It's as much about the accident, but the consequence of it and uh, the nature of the deaths that have happened in this accident. Uh, from the videos that have surfaced, and we have had to blur out everything. Because if I may actually say it in words, uh, that because of the accident, there were severed heads, body parts lying on the streets because of this incident. This was an uh, SUV. It appeared that the driver of the SUV, a young individual, uh, was speeding the vehicle. It rammed into a truck. Six youngsters have lost their life. One, however, is critical undergoing treatment. A pool of blood on the street. People have been shocked. As you, uh, the videos that have been recorded on mobile phones by, by the bystanders around, uh, you can understand the gravity of the situation with body parts that have been flung around. It was a speeding Innova vehicle, we are told, and uh, the age group of these individuals are about 19 to 25 years of age. A deadly crash that has happened. We are trying to ascertain further details of what happened, uh, where was the truck, how was it um, parked or was it uh, a moving truck that collided. Uh, we are trying to understand more details, but it raises a lot of issues. It's become a full-on debate as well. But imagine the grief of the parents. Six youngsters means six families currently in complete shock and grief and add on to the gravity and the brutality with which the deaths have happened literally with parts of the bodies flung on the streets. So we've had to blur out. We can only show you the vehicle. Just look at That's an Innova vehicle. It's an SUV. It's a big vehicle. It looks completely uh, crushed and we are told that parts of, the, uh, parts of the vehicle have been charred as well. We're trying to ascertain for the details from officials on the ground about what happened in this case. Let's listen in to one of uh, the senior police officials in Dehradun about what was said and uh, a, a detailed report by our colleague on the ground. In Innova, there are about 7 people who एक कंटेनर से यहां पर इस गाड़ी का एक्सीडेंट होता है टकराती है और आप यह देख रहे हैं कि किस तरह से यहां पर इस गाड़ी के जो अवशेष बचे हुए हैं टुकड़े बचे हुए हैं यहां पर एक मोबाइल कवर भी देखा जा सकता है और कांच के टुकड़े भी कई जगह पर मौजूद हैं इसके साथ आपको बताएं यहां से टकराने के बाद यह गाड़ी जो है ओवरलैप करती हुई जो है आगे उस नाले की तरफ जाती है और वहां क्षतिग्रस्त हो जाती है और इस एक्सीडेंट के बाद छह लोगों की मौके पर ही मौत हो जाती है काफी भीषण हादसा था यह और जिस तरह से यह हादसा हुआ है दिल दहलाने वाली बात है क्योंकि रेड लाइट को क्रॉस करते हुए और दूसरी तरफ जाना इतना लंबा आ, जो है गाड़ी पलटती हुई जाती है तो जाहिर सी बात है कि कितने तेजी स्पीड और इस गाड़ी में रही होगी हालांकि पुलिस का कहना है कि इस बात के इन्वेस्टिगेशन की जा रही है छह लोगों की मौके पर मौत हो चुकी है अलग-अलग एड्रेसेस हैं ज्यादातर देहरादून के रहने वाले हैं एक हिमाचल प्रदेश के भी रहने वाले हैं एक जो 25 वर्षीय व्यक्ति हैं जो उनकी जो है इलाज चल रहा है सिनर्जी हॉस्पिटल है पास में ही उस अस्पताल में भर्ती कराया गया है उनकी हालत अभी क्रिटिकल है और बेहद ही दुखद हादसा है ये अलग-अलग एड्रेस के बच्चे हैं सबकी लगभग ये 20 से 25 30 ऐसे एज ग्रुप के हैं ये अपने कॉलेज के या दोस्त वगैरह अभी जो प्रथम दृष्टया पता चला है कारणों की समीक्षा की जा रही है इसके बाद अभी सभी सारे जो पूरे रूट के सीसीटीवी वगैरह चेक किए जाएंगे कि किस जिसकी भी गलती होगी उसमें दोषी को कड़ी से कड़ी कार्रवाई की जाएगी दैट द नॉट ओनली वाज द व्हीकल कंप्लीटली रेड द कार रूफ सेपरेटेड एंड Ankit Sharma, my colleague, whose uh, report you just uh, watched, is joining me now. Ankit, I had to watch that video and I'm completely numb. Uh, because, you know, there, there are accidents that happened on the road, but I don't think we've ever seen a consequence of the incident of this nature. I can only imagine the grief of the parents right now of these youngsters. What are you picking up about? What happened? How was there suddenly a truck? When an, you know, when the when the when these youngsters were driving in that vehicle, what time did the incident happen? Was there no help that could reach to any of them in time? Well, absolutely, Pooja. This accident was enough to send cold chills to anyone anyone's spine. And uh, the grave visuals which came out uh, later on, and uh, yet uh, the details are uh, coming in. People are talking in different ways, and many angles of this accidents are. Uh, being uh, uh, 
uh, are coming in wide open. And uh, you see that this accident happened early morning when these uh, youngsters were uh, traveling from Vallupur area to uh, Gadikand Road, which is a straight road of two kilometer stretch. And it is being said that they were very high in speed and uh, it was about 150 kilometers per hour, which can be imagined only on uh, expressways. So in, in a city like Dehradun, which is a small suburban and uh, in a two kilometer wide stretch, if you drive so fast, then uh, the consequences are now can be seen. At 2 a.m., the Innova is believed to have collided with the truck, which was coming on the from the opposite side of the road. And you can see the, the roof completely stuck on the part of the, the backside of the truck. And uh, some of the youngsters uh, were brutally uh, died. And you can see that uh, some of their body parts were also cut off and were thrown out, which cannot be uh, visibly. I mean, our eyes cannot believe it that such a kind of accident can happen. I don't happen think I've ever, ever in, in the span of my career seen accident and we've, there have been worse incidents as well. But to see the body parts being shattered across on the streets, it's unbelievable of what could have happened. Ankit, tell me this about the identities of these individuals. Uh, what was the age group one? Are they all Uttarakhand, Dehradun residents? If you have clarity on that, are, you, are they from other states? All parents must have been informed by now because I cannot even imagine the grief of these families, six families, to, to have to be able to understand what happened to their children, youngsters, so, so bright and full with future and dreams for them. Well, yes, uh, the, the age group is from 19 years to 25 years of age and all of them were uh, from uh, Dehradun except uh, one from Chamba who was residing in Dehradun for studies. All of them were from the same college. And they were doing graduation uh, together. They were uh, uh, college mates. And uh, one of them had purchased a new Innova on uh, this Nanteras. And uh, his friends was asking that you have to throw a party. So he was uh, uh, giving a party to, the, to his friends. Uh, and uh, that is why uh, they were uh, also traveling in the new Innova after the party. They had also gone to uh, watch uh, Celebrity Stars uh, show which was held in Dehradun, and after that they came to home, uh, they threw a party, and after that this incident would have happened, nobody had thought. Now, a uh, few of the families are uh, only ha only had one child, and they have lost it. The families are completely shattered, and most of their last rites have happened. So all these six uh, 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 died, who, who died on the spot, their last rites were carried out on Tuesdays and Wednesdays after the uh, post-mortem report. And uh, one on is... With me. You know, it's a, it's a reminder of how a happy moment, uh, it was supposed to be a party, a get-together. All 19, 25-year-olds, uh, you know, have a good time. That's, that's the phase of life. And this is the moment of, uh, of them getting together, uh, youngsters having a good time. These are the individuals you're looking at who barely a few minutes after that got into the vehicle and have that shocking demise. Uh, you know, it's, it's also a reminder perhaps to be more cautious, more careful, where the parents need to talk to the youngsters. Youngsters have to also realize the responsibilities. And I understand that, that no words are going to compensate for the grief family is going through right now, six families in fact. But, uh, you, you know, how happy moments are youngsters enjoying and then later this incident has happened. This is in Dehradun, seven friends got together. Ankit, as we stay with these visuals, uh, what, are the, what are the police officials analyzing about? Because was this as much possibly a fault of where the truck was coming from? Was the truck parked at a location? Uh, was the speed of the vehicle very high? Because it, they'll have to also ascertain about what went wrong. There have been accidents on the road. How can this one turn into such a gruesome incident? being discussed about however the authentic information will only come after the police investigation is over however there are talks and uh, some people are also commenting that there was a bmw who was racing through across the city and he it was seen on uh, in many areas uh, doing rash driving and some of them have also reported to the police uh, whether the police registered the complaint or not it is yet to be ascertained but on on that very night the, uh, it is being said that the BMW also overpassed the, the same car in which the seven youngsters were 
traveling and it might have instigated them to race with the uh, BMW and that led to the uh, collision, uh, the fatal collision. Now, let me tell you one, uh, uh, Sudesh Jain, who was survived in this accident, he is being treated in the Synergy Hospital mm -hmm. and right now he's critical, but doctors say that he's uh, out of danger and it will take some time to uh, recover. So what a miraculous escape for that one out of seven who's currently critical undergoing treatment. Six have lost their life. A, a certain, was it an adrenaline rush? Was it some traffic, uh, the, the traffic uh, rule that was not followed? Something else happened on the road, but it's a reminder to be very cautious. And there are consistent reminders that when you're on the road, when you're driving, to ensure all protocol, all regulations are followed. Perhaps a lesson for many, but a tragic and a huge tragedy for six families. <laughs>